Haima was founded in 1957 and for its 60th anniversary this year, 2017, it's brought out a number of special models and this in front of me is the MLT 570 as you can see, it's all terrain and let's have a look first of all at the garage and you see that this is absolutely enormous so you get a huge amount of material in there two three four bikes even but this is a van for two people so you won't be wanting more than two bikes in there now the bad news is that it costs nearly 101,000 euros dimensions 674 centimeters long 222 wide 290 high so by adding extra height you've gained all this extra storage space such as in the garage it's got a seven speed automatic gearbox it's a Mercedes as you can tell L-shaped group around the table being used for a bit of food prep maybe that's meant to represent so that's what I use the table for for the food prep it's a good place to do it if you, otherwise you could use this little thing here if this comes up, up and but I prefer to use the table two single beds at the back one thing I like very much and I've been going about this for four years is sliding door for the bathroom saves a huge amount of space and it, the problems I've often talk about the doors opening the wrong way well you get rid of them completely by having that you've got storage under the beds on the left hand side you've got hanging space and on the right hand side a couple of shelves there so you can keep your jumper shirts and what have you in there smaller stuff such as your socks underwear can go in these cabinets above the beds another nice feature on either side of the beds is a window you can look out the window at night that's uh, I like doing that might not appeal to everybody but it's something I like to do wonderful lighting of course you get this in every van these days the lighting is outstanding there's a little feature up here though which uh, appealed it's only a small thing but it really appealed to me you've got this extra light up here so when you're sitting down with the ch uh, driver's chair turned around you can have a bit extra for your reading light and there white light or you can have it as a blue light clever I like that it's the sort of thing that really appeals it's a tiny little feature but great another thing oh, lots of vehicles have these these days is the the panoramic uh, sunroof which opens which is a very nice feature and you've also got another enormous roof light there so the light is really going to come into the vehicle admittedly it is very expensive it's 101,000 euros a lot of money but it's great it's got so all these features and it's been well thought out and uh, you know I've come into vehicles and I'm highly critical of this that and the other but this I think uh, I think Hume has really got it together uh, this year with the special editions putting in features which to my way of thinking are just what the full-timer is looking for.